Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to Trending Reviews. So until very recently, Apple has been very restrictive in allowing users to transfer video files to the iPads. Now, since the 2018 iPad Pro has come out, it's come with a USB-C connection. It's still limited to what you can transfer and import onto here, but now it's become a little bit easier because of the USB-C port. And what I'm gonna show you today is how to transfer videos and images from any type of external USB hard drive that you have straight onto the iPad Pro. So let's take a look. Right, so in this tutorial, I'm gonna be showing you how to transfer videos in MP4 format specifically. This will also work for transferring images and importing them into the Photos app on the iPad Pro. So I've got my laptop here. I've got my T5 Samsung one terabyte USB-C hard drive connected. Now what I'm gonna do is show you how to actually store the videos on there so that the iPad can pick it up. And there is a little bit of a, a trick you need to do before the iPad can just import any type of video. So looking onto my laptop here, you'll see on the right hand side, I've got a couple of trailers downloaded. And on the left hand side folder is my Samsung T5 hard drive. So what I'm gonna do is basically go into my Samsung T5 hard drive. And what you have to do is create a new folder and call it DCIM in capitals. Now this stands for digital camera images. So you may have seen the uh, Apple iPad Pro adverts and commercials which show you that you can set up your SLR camera directly through USB-C and it will automatically pick it up to import all of the videos and pictures you've taken with that camera. Now there's a reason why it can do that. So the Photos app detects external cameras attached to it via a folder structure that you've got via the connected device. So I have to recreate that folder structure for any of my USB hard drives to trick the iPad to think that it's a digital camera. So to do that, you have the DCIM folder. Just go in there, you create a subfolder called 100 Media. If you go into any sort of camera SD card that you buy with the pictures you've taken, you'll see that this format is there in probably almost all of them. Sometimes you have a different variation of what this is called, but this is just an example. If you want to use this, you can. And then if you click inside the uh, 100 media folder, you have uh, all of your video files and pictures. So I'm going to copy this over. So now there's a trick here. So you have to rename all of the videos and pictures you're importing to eight characters only. And the reason eight characters is the limit here is because cameras are used to having DCIM as the prefix with a four digit number next to it or a three digit number sometimes with an underscore. And that's what picks up in the folder structure. So what I'm going to do is possibly call this DCIM 0001. So that's eight characters, that's the limit. The next one I will do DCIM 0002. Now that's done, I'm going to go back and on the root directory of my hard drive and it has to be the root directory I've got the DCIM folder now. So now this uh, two video trailers should be importable onto the iPad Pro. If I didn't do this, the Photos app will tell me that there is nothing to import. So I'm going to uh, remove this. Now that I've removed it, I'm gonna connect it to the iPad Pro and show you what happens. Right, so I'm gonna go ahead and connect my Samsung USB-C hard drive and the Photos app will open up automatically. There you go. And it goes to the import tab and it shows that these are the two trailers or the video files that I've put into that folder structure and I have the option to import them. So I'll select them and then hit import on the top and the import is complete. And then it gives you an option to either delete from your hard drive or actually keep them. So I'll just keep them there. And then if I go back into photos, I can see that these two are the trailers that I've downloaded. So let me go ahead and play one of them just to confirm. So this is the Avengers trailer. Great quality, no buffering, very fast. And there you have it. So that's basically imported directly onto there. And uh, this is a, a very common procedure you can do with not just only USB-C hard drives, but you can actually do the same with uh, USB sticks that you have, like so. And then you also can do it with 
memory card readers so you can uh, transfer the SD or the mini SD cards directly into this uh, adapter and then directly into the iPad Pro or if you have a USB hard drive not the type C one then uh, that can also be done as well so there's various different options you can do so what I've done is I've actually transferred that same DCIM folder that you've seen into all three of these and just to show you that this also works with various other devices then I'm going to connect that as well so before I do that I'm just going to delete those trailers from here so it doesn't detect the duplicates okay so what I'm going to do is use the uh, USB stick I have the uh, same DCIM folder copied onto here now obviously this isn't USB-C so I'm using my Google Pixel 3 USB to USB-C adapter that comes in the box for the phone I just need to stick that in there you have this simply stick that in and the same thing should happen and then you have the two videos ready to import so quickly show you for the other ones this is a mini SD card put into the memory card reader which is a USB type cable stick that on and you'll see the two videos are there again now because of the um, renaming of the eight characters on the video file that's the uh, key thing to remember and you can actually call it whatever you like as long as they're letters and numbers so you can make sure that you name it something easy to remember the video file by and then that way you'll be able to import them straight onto the iPad now finally USB hard drive here I'm going to use the adapter again do that and then stick that in Sometimes, depending on how slow or fast the USB hard drive is, it might take a while, so you'll have to be a little bit patient. But if you've done it correctly, then it will open up. So there we go, just show you an import using this uh, USB hard drive here. So I'll keep that, I'll import them, and then just play another trailer as well. You're watching Dick Clark's New Year's Rock. Alright guys, so that was about it. I hope that was very useful for you. Uh, if you do have any questions about how to transfer stuff to your iPad Pro or if you're having any problems, do drop a comment below. I'll try to help you out as much as I can. But uh, otherwise, thanks for watching guys. I hope you subscribe. I've got lots more videos coming out for the iPad Pro. And I hope you like this video. And I will catch you guys at the next one. Take care.